Hello guys, welcome back to Torvec Motors. On today's video, we are finally installing the UUC Corsa exhaust right here into the E36 M3. Yep, this big boy right here. And I'm pretty sure you glanced on this exhaust a few times on my previous videos because it has been sitting here in the garage for a while now. So let's go ahead and do this quick install. why I decided to change the exhaust is the fact that the factory E36 M3 exhaust is as quiet as I'm not even sure like there's there's nothing this quiet I feel like I'm driving a Prius yes again the Prius you know if you watch the channel that I love loud cars my F80 is loud the Mini Cooper is loud and the E36 is quiet as a breeze and this is ridiculous so today I want to change that I want to install this now there is no specific reason why I got this in, in terms of if this is better than anything, no. The only reason I bought this one is because it was cheap. I purchased it from someone in Pennsylvania and yep, I drove the Mini Cooper to pick it up but I didn't film it. So um, today I decided to go ahead and install it. I have a few boxes here next to me and if you pick really quick you can see FCP Euros, you can see that white box on top guess what it is drop a comment below just to show me if you know um, what that is but right here I have uh, brakes from power stops and stuff you know things that I'm gonna install in the future but for now they're still right here there's still a lot of work that I want to do in them like I want to coat them and stuff like that before I install them so it's just a matter of time for me really because I have so many other things happening in my life that I also have to take care of so enough talk let's see how the E36 entry sound stuck. Just like any work that you need to do under the car, you have to make sure that you are on ramps or jack stand and always make sure that you have a secondary support to make sure that if one fails you are good but with the ramp here because they don't usually fail i'm just going to leave it like that but when i start working under the car i'm going to put a jack stand on the jack area over there just to make sure that i am secure but this side i'm not going to touch that side because i will be working mainly on this side now to remove the muffler here you have these bolts right here you have the 12 millimeter right there and then behind it there is a 13 so you pretty much put your wrench on the 13 side and use a 12 socket to unscrew as you can see right here they are very rusted so i put a w40 just to help to remove the bolt later on now yeah you can see how this is rusty i definitely have to change my diff at some point in the future and this one right here is also a 13 there's another one on the other side that we have to remove once we remove those we should be able to remove this muffler right here now before removing the muffler we make sure that we have a support here like another jack just to hold this because it is very heavy and you don't want that falling on you that's exactly what i'm going to do remove those four bolts then remove this one and this one that's hiding a little here right here mm -hmm. quick update so as I see here this is the rear and this bolt is broken as you can see I didn't even have to put any effort and as soon as I put the socket try to turn it it just broke both ways so as you can see they were rusted so luckily the aftermarket exhaust hanger actually hold on the top there it doesn't hold on these brackets right here it was on that brown thing uh, looking over there rubber piece over there i'm not sure what the name of that is and man i had a hard time removing let me show you i had a hard time removing those those took me about an hour to remove because as you saw earlier they were pretty pretty baked in rust i blew wd-40s and the rust ate 
all of the metal and it was no longer a 12 or a 13 so i had to figure it out so if yours is like mine that's like the worst case scenario you just have to use a bunch of tools but eventually i was able to remove them and if i have to look at the tools this is pretty much everything that i've used as you can see here even at one point trying to cut it but that the chainsaw thing didn't uh, fit in there luckily for me i bought extra nuts for that side but because i did not know that this was gonna break i did not buy um new ones for this next time if i want to put back the factory muffler i will have to you know buy a new set and use them but for now let me go ahead and remove this you see i have another uh, jack here just holding the exhaust that's why it's still up right now now let me go ahead and remove that and uh start putting back the other piece As you can see here, the two exhausts together, you have the factory one right here and you have the UC Corsa right here. And these are the hangers I was mentioning. So these one come with the hangers. So technically what I can do is remove this screw right here and adapt the other screw. Or I can just remove the screw on the top here and mount them. But I am a bit scared now to remove the screw on the top because I don't want to break that screw because that's the really piece that is holding the exhaust on the top so i'm going to try to actually do this portion right here but yeah this is the exhaust how it looks like and let's go ahead and mount it so pretty much mounting is the opposite of everything we just did i'm going to show you a clip when it's mounted all right i'm done installing um if you look here you see that it's installed properly so let's go ahead and give it a a good first time start and do a few revs hopefully it's gonna sound good guys you heard the exhaust it sound mwah, it sound delicious now finally i can hear something from the exhaust it is awesome man I, I love it i love it it's not too loud like the f80 or the mini cooper but it's perfect for me because this will be a good way for me to sometimes when i don't want to hear too much sound i can drive this just i can drive the f80 in uh, efficient mode and close the valve and then it's a little quiet that's kind of how this one is it's good for me i didn't want that to be extremely loud because i already have two extremely loud cars so i needed something that could blend in sometime now i'm not sure how when i'm on the track is going to sound like when i'm really like going to the high rpms and stuff but the day that i get to the track i'm gonna have to experience that on this note you saw the installation took me a while it took me maybe five hours to complete this although it was only what one two three four like six or eight bolts that i needed to remove but because they were seized i had to fight down there to remove them but i completed that so yep i'm all dirty as you can see so uh, let me go now and uh see you guys on the next video if you like this type of content make sure that you subscribe and like put a comment if you saw one way that could have done better or if you are things that you would like me to do regarding this car or things that you would like me to explain concerning this car, let me know, man. See you and peace.